How's it going guys? So today is November 24th, 2017 and what is significant about this date is that tonight it will be Ben's, Ben's Askin final fight. It, 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 is, um, it is his retirement fight at one championship, Immortal Pursuit. You guys, I don't know what to say about this guy. I mean, he is one of the best fighter that has never ever competed inside the UFC cage. And to me, that's fine with me. I mean, he's a former Beltor champion. He's a current one championship world tour champion, and he's undefeated. I realized that um, before his contract was out with with Bellator, there was a bit of a of a beef between him and Danny White, which prevent Ben to never compete with within the within the, the octagon. But you guys, if you guys know him, and I have been following his career for a while. He's very content. He's he's very happy where he's at. He, you know, he has stated multiple times before, fighting to him, it is just a way for him to provide for his family. It's just for him. It's just a way for him for him to make an income, and it's just it's just a way for him to, to have um, a better life. And to me, as a fight fan, I can I can I you know what I cannot argue with that. I mean, how much how how much to say no, Ben, man up, go go to UFC and compete. Um, at a at a top of competition, come on, guys. The UFC competition versus one FC one championship competition, it it's like day and night. Because I believe the UFC of uh, the UFC fighter, they are that much better. But when come to, when it comes to Ben Askin, I believe that he is one of the best welterweight that has never competed. I mean, I would love to see him again fight against George St Pierre, because these two guys are wrestlers. I would love to see him against fight against Tyron Woodley. But that will never happen because, well, they're friends. And uh, tonight it it is um his retirement fight, you guys. So go check it out. I mean, this is like I said, this is, in my opinion, one of the greatest fighter, one of the greatest mar mixed martial arts that that ha that that has ever competed. And yeah, Ben, thank you for everything. Yeah, man. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck in the future. I will tune in tonight. Um, you know what? I don't know how. I'm gonna look it up online. I guess I'm sure there's some type of um, online pay per view or online streaming that I can watch. But I I will be tuning in. And yeah. Um, the other thing, Ben's opponent is uh, Chinya Ayoki. And if you guys don't know, Chinya Ayoki, he's a major star in a uh, in the Asian market. He's he's a beast. But let's call a spade a spade. Ben's gonna win this one. I mean, this fight is taking place at um at the welterweight division for Ben's title, and Shinya Ayoki he's um he's a natural lightweight. He's a former lightweight uh, t title holder. T um, he's a former t uh, lightweight uh, title ch challenger. But I just think Ben Ben is gonna be way too big for him. And if this is how he's gonna end his career, fighting Shinya Ayoki, and ending with a perfect career, you guys I cannot think of anybody. In the history of mixed martial arts, that ha that have a per perfect career, and now he have this opportunity to finish it. Yeah. All right, you guys. Like I said, thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Take care, and I will talk to you soon. And Ben, thank you for thank you for everything.